Hi Professor, I'm just going to show you how to put images into Word documents, um, seeing as that was something we talked about in class the other day. Um, to start off, first off just open up a document and for the purposes of this I'll pick a study guide. Now the information that you've given in the study guide is not going to really relate to the images that I use here. This is just just for example. Okay, so here we go. We've got a study guide here open on chapter four. So what I'm doing is I'm making a couple of spaces. I'm going to move the cursor back up to here. And then up on the top bar here, we have an insert tab. If we select the insert tab and then come down to picture, select picture, and then go to the folder where you save the images that I've sent you. Now, I've saved some in here, just for example. Now, once you get it into your document, you can try dragging it around and stuff, but it won't go anywhere. You can resize it by using these blue dots, which is nice and all, but you know, it, if you can't put it where you want it, it doesn't do much good. Now, the way to move it around within the document is to right click on it, select format picture and then in this section here which is basically the properties of the image if you select layout you have a whole bunch of options now in line with text is what we have now which is pretty boring to be honest with you um, if you go with tight if you select this this one here tight and then hit ok you can actually move the image around quite freely and then uh, and basically you can work for, work with it from there and you can resize it and do all sorts from here you can make it you know taller or shorter or whatever I'm selecting control Z here just to return it to the shape that it originally was now if I wanted to keep it there I would just click away once with the left key on my mouse and the image would stay there now I can move this text around and basically I'm just pressing return to bring this text down um, and that is essentially it it's that easy once it's in there if you've got wrap text you can do anything you want now there are other options if you right click on the image again select format picture hit layout again you can actually put it behind the text now that's really handy in some ways um, as you can see just over here, I mean this is not the best image for this, let me see if I can find a better image um, a much lighter image, okay here, here we go this image is lighter, alright now if I right click on this image format it, select layout, put behind text see, when I move the image the text stays where it is, I'm going to get rid of this other image for now I'm cl left clicking on this other image once and then pressing delete and it gets rid of it all together so with that layout option you can do anything you want to do and then when you've got it where you want it click away and it's done that's it and then you can move the text around do what you like you know it's it's really that easy and you can just slide it around do anything you want it's that easy if you've got any questions, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll go through it again with you. Or you can come around here or I'll meet you at college or I'll come to your house, whatever you prefer. But um, placing text into your documents is really quite simple. It's just a case of going to this insert tab up here to the left, selecting picture, selecting an image, putting it in your document and then from there the best thing to do is to right click on it once hit format picture, go to layout and pretty much anything from tight behind text and in front of text is really going to work for you. Um, front, front of text will block out the text uh, but you know some people like that. Um, so that's it, it's really easy peasy. Uh, take care and I guess I'll see you in class.